His name is Oliver Mill, and he's from Trinidad and Tobacco. He loves to tell all kinds of stories. He captures moments on film, analog ollie they call it. He says the fact that his camera doesn't even have a battery in it makes him happy. At a very young age, I remember being by like some friends, very specifically, they had like a video camera and we were making a film, but they, you know, they had me acting in it. I remember like really wanting to be the one shooting, <laughs> but it's their camera. When I was, you know, between like five and 12 kind of thing, I, 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 there were a bunch of times where I was in commercials locally and I, that gave me kind of an early taste of what set was like. I made my first short film when I was about 15. From there, I made another short film like two years after that when I was like 17. And then I, I decided to apply for film school. So I went to Vancouver Film School, um, did a year there doing um, film, the film production course. I, I was fortunate to spend some time up there working for like a year. And then, you know, life just kind of happened and brought me back to, to Trinidad. So I would say that, like in my heart, I'm a bit of a um, bit of a purist, bit of a nostalgia. Like I think I'm deeply nostalgic and sort of sentimental. I I direct, but uh, and write, but I also do cinematography, so shooting, lighting, that kind of stuff. Down here in Trinidad, we have the beginnings of an industry, but it's not like a sustainable film industry and television industry yet. Um, we may have like one or two feature films a year, if that amount. Um, and it's always very low budget, sort of indie, self-funded. This uh, film, uh, Not Now Never Now, is a very sort of personal, a sort of family drama. A girl grows up to become an astronaut and she becomes the first person to make a solo moon mission. Um, and she she essentially lands on the moon in a spaceport by herself, um, very much inspired by sort of the imagery of SpaceX and the whole dragon craft and that kind of stuff. It, it came from a moment of just asking, like, what um, what am I here for? What do I want to say as an artist? It has been one of the most sort of serendipitous experiences of my life where, like, just everything that I sort of imagine for it to happen um, has worked out or even better than it's a small film but i think it has a lot to say come down into post-production now and you know i've been with it for like maybe the past year editing since the end of last year essentially um and now the whole thing has sort of expanded out globally which is kind of blew mind for me so i have uh my vfx artist is working out in canada uh, FX in terms of like textures and you know dust and particles and all that kind of stuff and interaction with water and all that kind of stuff and then he's the he's the one who actually um, put me onto grid markets and told me about you know the rendering it's just the idea that you know a guy in Canada is doing the VFX being sent over the internet to you guys I don't even know where the render farms are and my frames are going to whichever computers are being rendered out by you, you guys render farms and then coming back to him and then he's gonna once he finishes compositing all the shots he's gonna send the shots to me that I put in the edit you know getting in touch with you all it, it's really been sort of an overwhelmingly pleasant experience because everyone has been so accommodating and willing to help make the project um, happen you know in the most efficient and affordable way possible I mean Well, ever since I was a kid, I've been wanting to make feature films. So it, that is my dream. Um, I am still, uh, I have to hone in on what the, the project will be. Um, I'm still sort of open to the universe for that because it's sort of like, you know, the books that I'm interested in maybe adapting. I have an idea for a feature that I'm working on. It's very different in terms of the tone and the genre. 
my, my intention or my focus has right now been so much on this film and I'm really excited to finish it because I want to start entering it into film festivals and I kind of I feel really because of how the whole process has unfolded I feel really good about the film I think people have responded well to you know just the script and the idea um to me I'm like really excited to see where it leads in a sense I don't have a feature film idea for I always imagined that this film was a sort of a little thing in itself just just a short film um, but who knows you know like it, it even this may present an opportunity to develop into something more.